Back to New York, huh? Back to the beginning. It's time for the truth. Is this... Kitty! Luca! No, Luca's gone. Viola's definitely still somewhere, though. Oh, it's a real stage. Is it? It must be. Manhattan. Can't go any further than this. The there might have been a, something up there, though. Why? Is that it looked like there was a light up there. Uh, probably was just seeing things, I guess. Just looking around. Hey, Sigurd. Archiv Origin. What are you doing here? This is a world of my definition. You do not belong. But here I am, and that's the truth. Maybe you forgot to carry the one. Okay, I guess it is just a boss battle. Uh, pretty big boss battle. Singularity Chaos. Uh, what is that enumeration, though? We already did a Godzilla boss fight. I guess we're gonna have to do another one. Huh. Maybe it was possible to collect all the animals right at the couple of uh, seconds of walking I was doing. They were just hidden all under the cars that I could have destroyed. Oh no, we're, I guess we are doing uh, Godzilla again. I mean, New York is... Uh, like, shouldn't this be King Kong, actually? We don't have a monkey Infernal Demon, though. I guess he's supposed to be the monkey. Done this before, it's not very hard. Oop. Oh, I did it too late. You can do blasts too. I definitely have to shoot him to get the... Uh... Ooh, both hit each other. I, I definitely have to shoot him to get some, uh, probably, uh, a bewitchment. Am I gonna cripple him right away? He's already dead already, by the way. <laughs> But I am fully expecting a second phase. Oh, he blocked it. What? How did I not block that? I guess it's because I was also backing up. Again, with this uh, strike. I see you going for the grab. Now I'm going to have to finish you off. Damn it. It was
was going for a slam, so he countered me. Alright, he's going for a bite. God damn it. Yeah, I better stop pulling around. Time to die. I wanted to shoot him one more time, but he's not letting me. Big laser time? I guess so. But something's gonna change for sure. And he's got one prepared too. It's the Battle of the Beams! Do it now, Gohan! I gotta mash him more, won't I? What is he doing? A second beam? Uh, I think we're gonna lose this one, Bayo. Wow, she's literally just doing the Kamehameha. Well, actually, no. Her hand motion is not uh, quite uh, accurate. But this is literally just... I was doing a joke with the final Kamehameha thing, but uh, this is literally just the same thing, kind of, in a sense. Even down to the laser beam going over there. <laughs> and it still won't stop them, because of course it won't. Now, that being said, double summoning two giants, uh... Can't have that. Must have been painful, right, Bayo? And now she has to follow him. Singularity balance. Maybe that's how things work where you're from. But I prefer to make my own truth. Oh, come on. Don't just summon your creatures all the time. Because I can summon my own, too. Lasers. Okay, is that stuff just gonna stay there forever, by the way? Okay, no, if he does another one, it's gonna go, the previous one's gonna go away. Ow. Oh. 
Ha! I jumped over him. Oops. Okay, you. Uh, you're pretty big. I love a butterfly. If you would please. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, he can unsummon them too. Ow. <laughs> he actually got hit by it. Oh, I didn't stun him very long though. Or it did? He's not doing anything anymore for some reason. Okay, no, he is, but uh, he was stunned for actually a pretty long time. Okay, so that was Singularity Balance. Not very strong, but... I expect at least one more form. Possibly two. Oh, now where did he go? Oh, he just... He reappeared out of nowhere. Honestly, this is less frustrating than Ace here, just casually offing all of your Infernal Demons one after one the other. <laughs> hey, didn't I fight this thing before? I can't see where I am! <laughs> Done, but I don't think I could do a climax on it or a punish. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, back to you, huh? Attacking up for no, no reason. Oh, he's gonna do the teleport thing now. You dodge Madame Butterfly's paunches? Apparently not. Well, he can't do anything against Madame, Madame Butterfly. Wait. Should I get my other demons? Okay, I do, I just did more not Oh, what? 
That didn't go well. You know what it's time for, buddy? It's time to kick your ass. Get rid of that last major health stock. See if it moves to the next cutscene. Oh, jeez. I thought I was for sure. I was positive I actually gotten rid of uh, him before he could uh, plant uh, his thing, but I guess not. Ow. Uh, my dodging is being uh, really bad right now. Cutscene. <laughs> not done even if he is losing all his souls he's not done the hell is it all the bayonettas <laughs> I think it is Oh, and there's a whole bunch of designs that are just like, uh, they're just uh, PNGs, but uh, would have been nice to see them all 3D models. Chainsaw. Your attention, oh wow! <laughs> Those two were like uh, "quote unquote" animated. Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. The truth is what I need. Oh, could you make your 2D models uh, 3D? <laughs> Thanks, John. John. Indeed. Okay, Jean is definitely playable in uh, main campaign as a secondary form of the Bayo but hard mode or something. Uh, she's still dead though. See everyone? She extends her hand for John, not for Singularity, or for Luca, or even Viola. Where the hell is Viola? What is she doing in all of this? She's probably going to be part of the final battle, actually. This has MGS2 vibes to it, kind of. So we, we started here, and then we went to the moon, and then we we're back. And he's still fine, kind of. He's lost a lot of weight, though. Singularity definition. There it is. Final form. Gamora again. Although this is regular Gamora. Wait, are we doing minigame again? I mean, I guess it might be time.
Oh, I've seen this before. Uh, this might not end well for you, Bayo. At least it's no longer shadows. <laughs> This is much more like uh, AC as a uh, battle for Bayo 2. Oh god! How much? Look at how many health bars he's got! What the hell? I'm probably gonna have to heal myself. What? What the hell was that? Fire and projectiles on me right now? Oof, that was a nice counter. Oh, that's a Virgil move. Don't tell me you absorb Virgil's soul. Hey, you probably kind of deserves it. So cute. Ow! Right on the noggin. That's one health bar. I'm losing health uh, as I attack this guy. And I keep dodging for no reason. Can I do the ultimate strike? No, I can't. Nice, Kumo. Didn't even need to heal. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd get a mid-battle uh, heal, but I guess not. Makes no sense. Let me just suck on some of my lollipops real quick. Thank this you. Whoa, I almost fell. And I almost... First, forced myself off right there. What? What the hell was that? Yeah, I got my summons back. I think I can even attack him with summons now. Ow. Destroy my. Uh. Oh, he's healing right here. <laughs> so you can get healing in the middle of battle. Well, sorry, my dama butterfly. One of those bosses. Ooh, 
countered my witch time. Probably should stay away from that. Remember how in Veil 1 there was a move like that that uh, instantly killed you? Well, that was fun. Yeah, I think he's gonna start countering my witch times. Basically, as soon as the uh, witch time is over, he proceeds to try to. Uh, what? Did he seriously block my summon that was supposed to break his shield with a, something else? That's kind of cool. Oh no. It's happening again! The intro! <laughs> At least I didn't have to go through all of his health bars. You're not getting nervous, are you? Premonition? Happening again? What's wrong? Having trouble running the numbers. Man, it must have been easy to reprogram this cutscene. Don't come me out. Didn't have to redo any of the animations or anything. Can't jump, can't do anything. Can't uh, demon summon. I can't lock on to him though. That's the difference. That's the thing that makes the difference. The, the fact I can lock on. <laughs> Locks it. Flex it right to me. Does this thing. And Viola's gonna be right there a bit. What? Bastard! Gotta get engaged fairy mode. Where did I bring you, Viola? Back to him. All this time travel. Spear the Gognir? The hell? What? what indeed? You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Huh? You all seem to be having a good time. Awfully rude of you not to invite me, don't you think? Bayo 1 Bayo meets Bayo 3 Bayo? What is going on anyway? Oh yeah, there was a bat uh, familiar in the uh, 
I believe it was a bad feeling in BO1. Lava loss. Some of the, some of the familiars in uh, the, the, the Infernal Demons in BO1 really didn't get much to do. They only appeared once and that was it. And then there's, there's Bayo 2 Bayo, what? Did, why didn't they appear in the other uh, places the, the, when they're, all the Bayos are fighting? Well, technically speaking, I have all Bayo games, so you know. It looks like only the three of us made it this far. Oh, and the young lady, of course. That's enough, yes? To prove the phenomenal affirmation isn't absolute after all. No, I can't help but feel that there's, there's a bit of a Just try to commentary going on by these next. two specifically making it to the end to save BO3, BO3. <laughs> Yeah, we even get the, the same health bar as we had in uh, the, other, the other games. Nice try. Oh wait, since I'm Bayo 1 Bayo, does that mean I get the... Uh, sword thing. That would be nice. Oh, it's it's big old one, man. I'm a butterfly, too. Well, goodbye, me. Big old one butterfly, man. I'm a butterfly. Don't you dare. I don't believe it's possible to summon as a to play as Bayo 2 Bayo right now. Unless it happens right here. I told you you must struggle to support my sins. No matter how many you defy me. Oh no, your health bar is going down, man. If a couple more of us shows up, uh, your health bar will get depleted eventually. What time you do something, Viola? Cheshire would have definitely done something if you had just thrown him to begin with. Punch! Well, she tried at least. Again. I'm no twig. You still don't realize just how stubborn I am, do you? No matter how many of me there are, that doesn't change. That's my unshakable truth. Uh, an hour and 19 minutes going. This has to be the final chapter, because we're fighting him right now, unless there's like one more chapter where we fight uh, him again as a uh, Viola or something. Omni Bayo? He's, he's been doing his whole, uh, this whole, uh, oh my goodness, everything isn't predetermined, predetermined uh, several times. I'll teach you the hard way. Oh god. So wait, if I try to do a Madonna Butterfly, will that be triple Madonna Butterfly? Ah, uh, no, it's just a... Uh, Three 
you fool. It's time for you to die. Well, I deal triple damage. Eh, no. Just normal. A little tired. Okay, he still had a health bar left, so I'm pretty sure this is still not the end. There's still more, another plot twist to do. Launch! Yes! About time you get a blow in, Viola. Except it was a fake or something. No, oh, Cheshire! Oh, come on! You know, we haven't seen Enzo yet. Luca? No one, no one truly dies here. And let me guess, Bayo is gonna die because of this. There was a giant laser! You know, I'm being just- I'm just as confused as the final boss right now. But I mean, I, I just said it as the beginning. The, Platinum likes to play their plots flat, fast and loose. If something they think that can happen can be cool, they'll make it happen no matter how little sense it makes for it to happen. She's the one who's going to keep our truth alive. Yep. So yeah, as I mentioned, he had one like life bar left. Oh, well, I guess I get to wear Luca as my ally this time. Yeah, one life bar left. Uh, Luca, you're making things a bit distracting. Thought to get me at the end there with those rocks. All right, time to die.
that was the last of his, his HP. So this is basically that was basically the last time we had to fight him, I believe. Uh, let's see, he's got one more form to go. Also, I did want to mention that Bayo 2's uh, jewel not to healing after being rescued by our alternate Bayos was a bit concerning. Also, what happened to the other two Bayos that were combined with uh, Bayo 3? <laughs> Bayo. They just kind of stopped mattering after the uh, after Yola was uh, locked into place. When you fight for what you believe, you can change anything. Technically, he's fighting for what he believes in, too. I'm, I'm quite surprised we didn't get to play as Viola in this final boss. It's why I'm still thinking there's still a bit uh, more. Tell me I'm gonna die to Gomorrah. Now I'll know how Jean feels about it. <laughs> Luca, for once, please make yourself useful. I guess he didn't want to make himself useful. What is going on anyway? Bayo. Bayonetta. Luca. Luca. Is that you? She's naked, but she still likes glasses. I'm right here. find each other whenever she needs us and we've already come so far Fate oh it's too late to make her now and it will never tear us apart it's about to tear them apart we'll always be together Cereza. no Luca. we will always be together My clumsy, lovely fool. Will forever be in my heart. Wait, what? Uh, how'd, how'd, how'd she revive? Or is that just uh, metaphorical? Okay, no, they are being dragged to hell. No, see, this is the controversy with this game, right? <laughs> Luca and Bayo actually getting together. Lots of people di weren't, didn't really care much for Luca. And meanwhile, Viola, we're supposed to think of her as the successor, but uh, she, we kind of didn't get to play her enough. We got to play her like how much? Four chapters? And she's left crying at the end, not having actually really accomplished much. She, she got one strike on, uh, what's his name? Singularity. And in, in the end, it really didn't feel like it amounted to much. Uh, credits? 
Also, Luca canonically made, made out with a corpse. He wasn't dead, she was. So that makes the uh, Luca Bayo pit pairing kind of extra creepy. Now, the copium some people have with this uh, pairing happening in this game is that, oh, it's Bayo 3 Bayo who got with Luca, not uh, Bayo 1 or Bayo 2 Bayo. But I'm pretty sure that there's not much subtext going on here. It's, uh. <laughs> Planum was basically all but saying, oh, Luca he was always meant to be the love interest of Bayo. That's not, that's the, the problem though is that uh, I don't think uh, Planum caught on to the hint that uh, that doesn't make it a good pairing. <laughs> Just because he says it's the pairing doesn't mean people are going to like it. People were more convinced that uh, Bayo would get with John. In fact, a lot of people probably point out, even at this game, that... There's more hints that she likes Jean more than uh, she does uh, Luca. Oh, but Jean was dead, so you know, couldn't put them together anymore. Anyway, uh, I guess that's the end of the game. I don't think I I might not play any more things here. I think that might be it. This might be all we were going to be covering. Because I don't know if there's anything else that can be said about uh, everything else that can be played. There's obviously like the bonus boss, there's uh, extra verses and chapters, but uh, all in all, I'm satisfied with my experience. I did seriously expect more, though. I was expecting the game to last, like, we go through that one more island, three chapters, and then go towards the center and do... Uh, all the extra stuff in there, but I have to guess that's not where all the bonus stuff is instead now. Which means uh, essentially that, uh, well, there's not much else for me to do now. I can go back to just playing Mario Maker 2 and trolling uh, people uh, who keep uh, using me as a checkpoint for finishing a level. Honestly, though, they should stop voting super expert if they actually want to beat the levels by themselves. What was up with Luca being like uh, some kind of super sentient, over-the-top uh, wizard in uh, one universe, by the way? That made no sense at all. It's kind of hard to hear the music because I'm wearing a headset right now. Bayonetta was Jennifer Hale. Oh, I, I like Jennifer Hale a lot, actually. She was the voice of Samus. Well, the quote-unquote voice of Samus in... Uh, uh, what, what was it? Metroid Prime. Yeah, the Metroid Prime trilogy. All she did were grunts and stuff, but still. People could recognize it was Jennifer Hale despite that. Probably because of the credits, but you know. In Japanese, Bayonetta is Atsuko Tanaka. I have to assume that's the same actress of all the other Bayos. In Japan. Anyway, I still don't know what the hell Singularity wanted to do. For what it's worth, like, say what you will about Ace here, at least we kind of knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to become the ruler of the world! Meanwhile, uh, this guy, Singularity, it's like, he, he wants to reset the timelines or something? I uh, have no idea. I'm showing uh, Bayo 2 flashbacks right now. Pretty sure they'll eventually get to Bayo 1 flashbacks. Remember that time in Bayo 2 where. Yeah, Bayo 1 flashbacks now. Remember the time in Bayo 2 where Bayonetta had to uh, rely on her, her daddy to finish off the final boss and then that wasn't enough and then she had to rely on that other tip squeak that didn't have much to do? The reason why I'm saying this is because I, I honestly, despite everything that happened in the, this BO3 ending, with all the over-the-top plot twists and nonsense, I have to say, I still kind of like it better in terms of portrayal of Bayonetta than I, BO2's ending, where she just kind of couldn't do anything. She, everything had to be done by, what's his name? I can't remember his name. 
I remember Aesir, but not uh, his twin or what's his name. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, and as, as far as Viola is concerned, I kind of really wish I did play a lot more of her. It would have done a league. It would have done leagues for helping her character for sure, instead of leaving her crying at the end. That's that's really lame. Like if uh, if there's one thing I have to complain about the ending, besides all the numerous dumb plot twists. It's that Viola didn't really get to do what she should have done. She this, this should have been her chance to prove herself, and it kind of fell flat. Just saying. But, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know this already. Anyway, Bayo's dead. Long live Bayo. Actually, you know, there was a... Uh, side game that was uh, released after this, by the way, about uh, C Cereza in Cheshire or something like that. I I might look into that if I have time. Uh, assuming it's been released. I'm pretty sure it's been already been released. Has it? Possibly. Oh, we get a little bit more Viola here. What is this indeed? T. Q. T. Wait. Are you? No. You're just the darkness Archie left behind. Uh, really? There's one more verse? Okay, listen. I did complain about Viola not getting anything during that final boss battle, but I didn't mean to do this to make up for it. Especially because I have to fight damn octopus boss for it. There's only one person allowed to call me that. Uh, hang on. <sighs> Rewind. My name is Viola. And you're never gonna fucking forget it. Can we at least transform into uh, a fairy mode again? The uh, verse four, okay. Take care of everything. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot I could do that. Uh, 
Ow, ow. Oh, she did her special move. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. I'm pretty sure I could have done that manually. Well, this that wasn't even a fight at that point. To be honest, uh, she should have done it a long time ago if she wanted to prove herself. Okay, so this must be what people meant about uh, Viola ex succeeding Bayonetta. That was your last lesson, Viola. Wait. But for someone who's grown. Yeah, hey, another has a kitty on her neck. Perhaps what the, the hell? Of a new name is in order. What is the meaning of that? I think that was supposed to be I love you at the end. Thanks, mommy. I'll treasure it. To be honest, a cutscene of Viola's super form is basically a gift from her daddy. It's honestly uh, si significantly stronger than. Uh, Anything that uh, Bayonetta provided for her. Except the whole problem with that is that the whole extra form uh, comes out of uh, simply nowhere. So Luca had never had these forms in Bayo 1 or Bayo 2. So they suddenly decide, okay, in Bayo 3, where Luca is actually secretly a werewolf fairy thing. And uh, his daughter inherits that form and it's super strong. I got hit. You get a limited amount of time to do these verses in the credits, by the way. You don't have to do them, but uh, they do provide to your score. <laughs> kind of, a, they were very annoying in Bayo 1. You had like no time whatsoever, and your moveset was considerably more limited in those. <laughs> Oh, this is the intro. I'm surprised I one shot that guy. 
if you, for whatever reason, don't finish the verse on time, it just ends automatically in your... It's considered a failure, essentially. At least that's what it was in uh, Bayo 1. It's possible in this game to just uh, end it and tally up your score as to how you performed. Oh, he was finishing her off. Yes, and the tree. So don't let me wait. I don't think I actually managed to finish that one properly. In the June night, I stand at your gate. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh, uh, <laughs> Madama Butterfly is still gone. Another thing to consider, by the way, uh, is that the game was like, oh, okay, Viola must succeed uh, Bayo. But uh, we're still playing as Bayo in the credit sequence. Think about it. By all accounts, if they really wanted to show that Viola is succeeding Bayo, shouldn't we be playing as Viola in this credit sequence? I think that might have been it. As far as the extra verses are concerned, and I'm pretty sure the last two I didn't finish on time, but uh, that's fine. I wasn't exactly trying to get pure platinum everything here. Honestly, I have nothing else to say. I like the game enough. I wouldn't mind having to play it again for 100% or at least fighting Rodan in super form once again. But uh, I have lots of other things to get to. Like just tomorrow, uh, I have to leave for a trip for a birthday of a relative of mine. My uncle's wife, essentially. I know that sounds like I don't care, and it's I kind of don't. I just go in there for the food and the fact it's a, a like a night uh, evening uh, trip uh, where I spend some time with my uh, nieces and nephews uh, at a hotel. We're gonna go swimming in the, the 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 pool of the hotel. I imagine it's the pool of the hotel. Last time I went to a hotel, there was a, an inside pool. It was actually very very nice. I was the only person who swam there out of the entire group. Because I probably was the only one aware of it, and the other people, they all just kind of uh, went out and uh, <laughs> screwed around until like 2 o'clock in the morning at a, a bar somewhere. It was a very naughty bar too. Not in the sense that there was uh, some actual naughty stuff happening there, just... The names of the drinks were kind of too much on the nose, you know? <laughs> Anyway, Nintendo of Korea, they exist. The IQ thing, that's a China thing, because you uh, can't just have Nintendo in China because of regulations and stuff. Mario Club, they still exist in Japan only, apparently now. Sega, they own Platinum, so they're involved here too. But Nintendo was basically the one who uh, funded the project, I believe, so it's essentially a Nintendo exclusive forever and ever. Doesn't mean we won't see it in Nintendo's next console in the Ultra version with a better frame rate, though. Ah, there we go. Another ending happening. With a bunch of generic NPCs that totally don't look that they're straight out of a, some kind of a generic NPC maker machine. How is there light coming in here? What the hell? Hey, Jesus, that hurt. Watch where you're going, asshole. Oh, it's you. 
Get that prescription check, will ya? Hey, hold on! Remember that last job? The one you half-assed? The adder almost. <laughs> Took my head off for that shit. I keep telling you, kid. Huh? Oh, uh, no. Nobody, you know. Yeah, I know. The baguettes, right? Forget, Forget about, about it. it. I'm coming straight home. Honest. Direct with the good stuff, Ray. Playing hooky again, huh? You know, I'm the one who has to hear it from your pops when you decide to turn my place into study hall. School's closed today. It is, seriously. So anyway, got anything good for me? Something where I can let off some steam? <sighs> got a leaky roof? Truck salvage? A lost cat, and some ghosts haunting an old house. That's the one! Don't wait up, okay? Cheshire! Cheshire is the what? sword. The other. That's coming out of your cut for this one. So's it's kibble. Shit, my bad. Forgot to use the family name. Be back by curfew. Bayonetta. <sighs> okay. Let's dance, baby! She's not sexy enough is an issue too. Are we seriously not done? Is this credit sequence still ongoing? I can't control anything. We already saw Bayo dance, but apparently we have to see her dance again for some reason. Shouldn't, shouldn't Yola be the one dancing actually? You know, look at all the work the animators put in. That's uh, basically what they're doing now. Oh, there's Viola. China's being bombarded, but, you know, might as well just dance. Let me guess, Luca's gonna join too? I hope not. Yeah, Jean is a bit better. See, this is... I think people would accept this a lot more. <laughs> Jean, Bayo, and Viola. Remember when Jean was supposed to be the unsexy one? Oh, there's the other videos. No, I, I was like I said a while ago that I was expecting a whole lot more, but all things considered, it would have been like a Herculean task for Platinum to do even more, like the, from what I was expecting. I was expecting like an entire new uh, zone, like uh, it would have been another place in the world probably, so um, let's say Russia or whatever. And, and then I was expecting like an actual final area that was humongous, like five different chapters. That makes no sense when you think about it. Being in the games, I've never been that long in size. This is not a Pikmin 4 situation where they actually added a whole lot more. And even then, that game took 10 years to do. <laughs> Bo2, Bo1, Bo3, all three.
Oh, I've noticed that our that Bayo 3's color scheme is actually kind of yellow. Bayo 1 has a bit of yellow too, but uh, Bayo 3's primary color scheme is uh, mostly yellow, comparatively. So Bayo 1 is red, Bayo 2 is blue, Bayo 3 is yellow. So since what happened to Egyptian John? Just asking. She should be here too. Sure, Platinum. You definitely won't backpedal on that. Jesus, what a long chapter. <laughs> it just keeps going and going and going. Oh, no continues. And that was, in fact, a single last chapter. What the hell? Oh yeah, pure platinum. Because <laughs> uh, Jean performed so well. I mostly got golds. There are a couple of silvers. But uh, mostly it's all golds. Wait, he gives me a silver at the end anyway? God damn it, it's because I got a couple of silvers, probably. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, four difficulties. This was just standard. There's expert in non-stop infant climax as well. But, unfortunately, I definitely probably won't be doing that. What is alternate chapters? Oh yeah, the uh, alternate chapters are the side chapters where you unlock some extra weapons and stuff. I've only done one, and I don't have it on footage anymore because of uh, the corrupted stuff. We didn't see enough of alternate Enzo either, by the way. Like, there was Inspector Enzo. He only appeared in, like, a, a still in a cutscene that was mostly all of stills. Well, there's Egyptian Jean, at least. Can't find Inspector Enzo, unfortunately. Oh, it's it appears that uh, Rodan's super form in this game is, in fact, his demon form from Bayo 2 again. the hell? La Bolas. Oh yeah, from uh, Bayo 1. Or something like that. Non-stop epic climax. The soul shaking difficulty that offers the ultimate combat experience has become available. Uh, I wonder if it's... Uh, yeah, and you can play as John, that's obvious. I wonder if non-stop epic climax is like Bayo 1 non-stop epic climax, which uh, disabled witch time. Or if it's more like Bayo 2, where it's... Uh, you still have witch time, but uh, there's other factors that make the difficulty as difficult as it can be. Oh, and also we can use handguns, which is probably the joke weapon of the game, in case you really want things to be difficult. But yeah, that's it. Bayonetta. I'll look one last time at the uh, menu to see what's uh, available and what's not. Okay. Super Mirror. Super Mirror 2. Platinum ticket. Already? Yeah, that's uh, obvious. What's this? Phenomenal Remnant 14. Well, I, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, the bonus uh, stuff, yeah. Fourteen. Ugh, there's all these side chapters that I missed out on. God damn. Well, uh, that's gonna be for some other time. Which trials I probably not gonna do. If I do, it's probably gonna be non, non uh, no commentary or something. But yeah, there's all these side chapters I technically have to unlock too. Yes. But yeah, there's seriously nothing in the center. Not even one in the chapter in the center. That is extra strange to me. Well, whatever. That's that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed it. All have a nice day. See you all next playthrough. Which, uh, assuming there's no distractions, I'm hoping it's kind of going to be Super Mario RPG, uh, the the new one, the remake. <laughs> anyway.